How's it going guys? Jaime Rodriguez coming to you live from Tempe, Arizona here at my mall location again. I want to talk about painting trucker hats. It kind of there's a trick to it. If you haven't done it already or if you're having a hard time doing it, I'm about to get into how I do that. But first I want to talk about a little quick, uh, simple kind of modification you can do with an airbrush. It's not really any modification, more, more or less kind of a little adjustment you could do to it. Um, sometimes airbrushes can spit, you know, no matter what brand it is. Um, and there's a way to get that spitting uh, figured out and fine tuned. Doesn't happen all the time, but every now and then you get an airbrush that acts kind of weird. How I figure that out and fix that problem is, I take off, I take off the uh, the nozzle cap like we're doing here, and I put a thin sliver of Teflon Teflon tape right over the threadings. I'll take off the whole whole cap, remove it, expose the threadings, and just put that Teflon, wrap it around the threadings, close it back up. You'll feel it nice and cushioned as it screws on. It means that Teflon tape is working. What that does is it seals any air leaks from the airbrush and makes that line spray even tighter. Okay, what's happening here is you're sealing any possible air leaks or any sort of fluttering with the air spray coming out of the airbrush. Now, if air is leaking, then it's gonna harm the spray coming out of the airbrush very minutely, but we'll, it will still harm it because what you're having here is a suction that's coming out of the airbrush being created by the air coming forward out of the uh, nozzle cap. So if there's any sort of interruptions in that flow, it'll show in the line work. So this here is just a simple little quick fix. You don't use uh, Teflon tape. You know, I at times use a bag, plastic bag I get for my t-shirts if I don't have Teflon tape around. I'll stretch it out and I'll do the same thing with a plastic bag. Or you can use beeswax. Beeswax is also good in colder climates. When it's in hot climates, and I'm at an Arizona State Fair, the beeswax will start beeswax will start to melt, and uh, it won't be quite as solid in the threading. So it still is a great quick fix. A, a lot of airbrush companies do that stock on their airbrushes. Well, let's go back. Let's that's a quick fix. So let's talk about trucker hats, and uh, let's show you how I do a trucker hat. It's a great way to get in there and get detailed. Usually, I just go when I start doing a trucker hat. You know, I've been doing them long enough. I don't really have to make any sort of adjustments. But I'm going to talk about an adjustment you could do with your airbrush. Let's get down to it. We got a trucker hat here. We got my Omni 3000 with uh, with a two ounce airbrush bottle. What I do sometimes, if I feel like it, is I'll turn the bottle to the left and I'll pop the bottle upward. That way, it don't bounce off the brim. Or I'll just bend it upward like that and hold it like at an angle, just like that. That way, I'm not hitting the brim. But I've gotten used to just spraying at an angle. And I've been able to do that instead of having to bend anything. So let's get started and show you how it's done. Right now I'm using a charcoal gray to do all the line work. Come back into it. As you can see, I'm getting in there. I'm getting really close. Nothing's bothering me. And that's just because I'm really used to working on trucker hats, which makes it the case. If you haven't worked on trucker hats much, it can be a challenge painting in that little tight area that has the rim to kind of interrupt what you're doing. Not like a flat surface. You've got this protruding rim shooting out at you. It makes it just a little harder to do. As you can see here, we have no problem doing it. Nice quick little graffiti piece with my signature style lettering. Drops going down from the brim. Fade out. I'm gonna bring in some yellow, bring a nice fade out of yellow from that orange. Match into the hat. I'm gonna come in with a cool color in the middle of that name. And boom, we got ourselves a nice trucker hat, real quick and easy. Again, that dagger style is kind of like uh, the bread and butter of what I do. But that's just showing you how the trucker hat works, how I get down and dirty on the trucker hat real fun and easy once you get once you get to learning on how to do it 
Um, if you ain't doing trucker hats, you've got to do them. They're quick money makers. The trucker hats cost maybe a buck each. You can get them for 90 cents if you're lucky each, but they sell like hotcakes, especially if you're at a fair or an event. But uh, I got some more video coming, so uh, keep a lookout, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time.